Hi, Anya. Once upon a time, four actresses played Disney princesses on Broadway. Susan Egan, Ariel Jacobs, Cindy Winters, and Annalisa Vanderpoel. All four women are now touring the world with Disney Princess the Concert, and they're stopping in Center City next week. Susan Egan is true Disney royalty. She was the original Belle in Broadway's Beauty and the Beast. She also provided the voice of Meg in the movie Hercules, a role that she almost didn't get. You would think that because I was working for them, it would be a shoe in but actually it was because I was working for them that they wouldn't let me audition. Belle is so kind-hearted, courageous. She trades her life for her father's. Meg could not be more different. Jaded, sarcastic, string of bad boyfriends, sells her soul to the devil, like not the same. But the character of Meg was um, modeled after Barbara Stanwyck in The Lady Eve. So she was a lot like all those ladies from the 30s and 40s, Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, Lauren Bacall. What Disney didn't know is that I'm a fanatic for those movies. I think just because they had to see me every day, they finally let me audition so I would stop asking. <laughs> and then I think they understood where my soul truly lies. Susan is executive producer of Disney Princess The Concert, which is the very first time Disney has combined the worlds of the princesses. This concert features the music of all 12 princesses and the two Frozen Queens. Audience members will see custom animations and special effects, but the real magic is the four-part harmonies from these Broadway powerhouses. And it's an opportunity for us, Sheila, and I know that you will appreciate this, to show that women support women, to show our diversity, to show the diversity of these Disney characters and the diversity of the music, and to just celebrate these characters, their courage, their kindness, their strength, their, the fact that they define their own destinies on a stage with an audience of thousands of people. In addition to singing the songs we love, the performers will also share behind the scenes stories from their time playing these characters. From Ariel feeding kangaroos before going on as Jasmine in Australia, to the Beast accidentally pulling off Susan's wig mid-show, we'll hear their most hilarious and heartfelt memories. Audience members will also learn something from each of these princesses and take away an important message from the concert. It really is about the courage and kindness, and those are not mutually exclusive. It takes a lot of courage to be kind, and this is a message I think our world needs. I think that these women face challenges and obstacles. They look at what is the right thing to do, even if it's not the easiest thing to do. Susan promised me that this enchanted evening is perfect not just for families, but also for millennials who grew up watching these VHS tapes over and over again. Disney Princess the Concert is one night only at the Academy of Music next Tuesday, April 12th at 7 p.m. If you want to live happily ever after, we've got a ticket link in the Philly Live section of NBC10.com or the NBC10 app. Anya, back to you.